with that, we can continue to show, attend, and tell. We learned about show and tell just now. We are bringing attention, and this is actually one of the first papers that brought attention. And it was coming in for, for multimodal learning, actually, at the intersection of images and text. The video is online. The paper is technical. And I usually go through this paper for a couple of reasons. I'm going to give you the big picture, or at least why I go through that paper. And then you can ask questions and watch that video for more information. That's an assignment. What are we doing? It's a technical paper, so you definitely have to watch that video. But originally, attention was defined in a hard way, in a stochastic way. The idea was you have an image, you can push it through the CNN, stop at some depth of that CNN, don't go fully to the vectorized version, stop at some layer, and an image that could be 256 by 256 by three channels, red, green, blue, could end up being another image with 14 by 14 pixels, and each pixel being 512 dimensional. And the cool thing is that each one of these pixels is gonna have a receptive field, is gonna correspond to a region in your original image. Now the question is, how are you gonna spread your attention among those regions while predicting a word, while predicting, for instance, bird? Where are you looking at? And the way that you do it, using a hard attention, you're going to say that I'm going to put a weight here. If I'm paying attention to that region, that score is going to be a one. If I'm not paying attention, it's going to be zero. This is going to be a random variable. You're going to write down a log likelihood, and then you want to maximize the log likelihood. But then things are a little bit challenging because once you write down the log of a likelihood, there is going to be an integral here. And we know that the log of the integral is not interchangeable with the integral of the log. It is actually not equality. It's going to give you inequality. And then rather than maximizing this directly and computing it, you are going to maximize a lower bound. And this trick, we are going to see it over and over again when we do variational autoencoders, when we do reinforcement learning. But we saw the soft attention version, which was rather than having hard attention here, which are one hot vectors, you can smooth them out using a softmax function. And this one actually ends up being simpler. But there is actually mathematically justified reasons for why you do attention. And how do you go from hard attention to soft attention? And at the same time, this is one of the reasons I go through this paper, that there is actually mathematical reasons for why we do attention mechanism and the soft version. Another reason I go through this paper is because of this trick, the log of the probability, the derivative of the log of the probability is equal to the derivative of the probability divided by the probability itself. And that trick, we are going to see that over and over again when we do reinforcement learning. But the rest of it, we know it's the task of neural image caption generation is very similar to translation. But now you are translating from an image to a text rather than translating from French to English. You are translating an image to a text. And we saw that attention is really helpful. While you're actually predicting a word like tree, it is actually a good idea to pay attention to the region of the image that corresponds to the trees or to the stop sign. And these are the things that you're going to show to a passenger of a self-driving car. And then the passenger is going to say, yes, the car is seeing a stop sign, and that's why it is stopping. Therefore, I trust the system. I think I'm going to stop here and continue next session. For those of you who have questions, I'll be around.